the family lawyer of the late pop icon Michael Jackson has claimed that if his father had not been prevented from seeing him in his final weeks, he might still be alive today. Joe Jackson, who was deeply concerned about his son's well-being, confided a month before the shocking drug-related death of his son on June 25, 2009, that he feared an overdose was imminent but was unable to intervene. Brian Oxman, a friend and lawyer of the King of Pop, was told by the patriarch of the music family about his grave concerns for his frail son, who was preparing for a career revival in London with his This Is It residency. On the 15th anniversary of the premature death of the pop icon, Brian discloses how Joe suspected his son was using medication and drugs, which left him too ill to perform his comeback concerts in the capital. Michael Jackson, the star of Thriller, was rehearsing for his eagerly anticipated return to the stage at the O2 Arena when he was found unresponsive in his Los Angeles home on June 25, 2009. Less than three weeks before his first sold-out show, he died from cardiac arrest caused by an overdose of propofol and benzodiazepine, reports The Mirror. He was 50. In the run-up to the concerts, Jackson's father and other family members were determined to have a heart-to-heart -heart with Jacko about their worries. However, during his last month alive in LA, the singer kept anyone he suspected of trying to stage an intervention away from him. Brian, who has long served as the Jackson family's legal counsel since the 1980s, shared his belief that Joe would have been the only one to have got through to Michael and saved his life. I still believe in a stunning admission, however, Joe Jackson conceded regarding his son's untimely demise, this is the way the story had to end. It was almost as if it was written in the stars. Reflecting on the situation, Brian expressed, he hated it. I hated it, but this is the legacy and what we have to live with. Joe Jackson, who propelled the Jackson 5 from a local Indiana touring act to global stardom as the preeminent boy band of the late 1960s, along with his wife Catherine, confronted MJ at the Beverly Hills Hotel in mid-May 2009. During this crucial encounter, Michael's children Prince, Paris, and Blanket were in attendance. Joe voiced his deep concerns to his superstar son, saying, Michael, you're in trouble. After the meeting, Brian recounts, Joe left that meeting, and he called me afterwards and said, Brian, he ain't going to make it. They are killing him. I know what my son is like. He is screaming for help Brian. H is going to die. I just know it. H is not doing well, Brian. H is going to die.